Every time I go to the doctor's office, my temperature, blood pressure, height, and weight are meticulously recorded. And these are important vital signs, but we're missing one critical vital sign, and that's our brain vital. The World Health Organization estimates that 450 million people suffer from a condition that affects brain function, like depression, concussion, or Alzheimer's. And all of us experience times when our brain does not operate at maximum efficiency, such as due to illness, alcohol, or simply just fatigue. So why do we ignore our brains? In the past, it hasn't been very easy to measure brain function. Imaging techniques, such as CT scans, are expensive and generally only used when brain trauma is suspected. EEG is an emerging technology that is still not widely used. So to measure brain health, we still rely on self-reports and subjective questionnaires. The good news is that healthcare is being revolutionized in large part due to two things. The first is the transformation of today's healthcare system from one that addresses illness to one that promotes wellness and prevention. And the second is the proliferation of mobile smart devices. A wellness model empowers both patients and clinicians, and mobile devices will play a large part in enabling the shift to a healthcare system that has a wellness-centered focus. Right now, you can walk into a drugstore and buy a thermometer or a blood pressure cuff to monitor your own vital signs to stay healthy. In the future, smart devices will do this automatically, alerting you or your doctor if you or your loved one is sick. Smart devices will also make the brain vital accessible to both consumers and doctors. We can do this through mobile medical software applications that measure your response time and accuracy through game-like environments. Pairing this data with both passive activity monitoring and active physiological sensing will revolutionize how we approach brain health and wellness. My company has spent the last four years designing technology to make this a reality, potentially transforming the way we practice medicine in relation to the brain. We can't afford to continue to overlook the brain. In the future, we want everyone to be able to ask for a brain vital.